After all their children grew up, Mr. and Mrs. Wences decided to remodel their house. They combined the space from three of the children's bedrooms with their master bedroom to create a much larger master bedroom. The new master bedroom was four times as long and three times as wide as the original. By how many times did the area of the master bedroom increase? Now if we're talking area of a rectangle here, we're talking length times width. Now the length and the width for the new bedroom area is going to be different. The length is being multiplied by 4 and the width is being multiplied by 3 because we're told that the new master bedroom was 4 times as long and 3 times as wide. So how does the old bedroom area compare to the new bedroom area? Well, we have to multiply 4 and 3 together to get the answer. So it looks like that the area is going to be multiplied by 12. In other words, the old area is going to be multiplied by 12 to get the new area. Now, one of the reasons Mr. and Mrs. Wences were so glad to get the master bedroom to themselves was because one of the kids liked to play trombone a lot in the background. You might hear, as I'm doing this, some kid playing trombone. Anyway, what it's set up here is a spreadsheet for you here, folks, to calculate the old area and the new area based on just some, some numbers chosen at random. Watch what happens when I divide the new area by the old area. Okay, so let's say length. Let's, let's do length and width here. Let's say the length was, just mix them up here, let's say 6. I meant to say 5 feet long and maybe 10, uh, 8 feet wide. I know this is small, right, but we'll just go with that for now. Okay, so then um, remember it said it was the new area would be 4 feet or 4 times as long and 3 times as wide. So 5 times 4 is 20, 8 times 3 is 24. So there's my new, there's my new length and width right here. And then so then went to get the area, I multiply length and width. So the old area would be 40 square feet. The new area would be 480 square feet. Nice. Okay, so if I divide 480 by 40, I get 12, which means that I would have to multiply the old area by a factor of 12 to get the new area. In other words, the old area would fit into the new area 12 times. This works for any set of numbers. I'll just make up some more numbers here. Let's see here. Let's. What if it was like uh, 7 and maybe 10? Okay, so then press Enter here. So now my new, my old area, let's say it was 70 square feet with a length of 7 and a width of 10. Okay, over here, my new length would be 4 times 7, which is 28, and it would be 3 times 10, which is 30. All right, remember the problem says that, we that the new area is 4 times long and 3 times as wide. So my old area would be 70 square feet, then. My new area, after a, a length that's 4 times as long and a width that's 3 times as wide, would be 840 square feet. That is also nice. Again, divide 840 by 70, the, old, the new area by the old area. Again, I get 12 every time. And that's just further proof that we've got the right answer by saying that, we, that the old area would increase by a factor of 12.